Good morning folks, it's Space Junkie transmitting from Starnberg, Germany this time and while well, catastrophic things happen, bad things happen, so as I told you, like in my previous videos, I was supposed to go on tour to play at the Grand Hotel Cosmopolis in Augsburg on Thursday, then at the private event in Starnberg, which I did yesterday, and um, well, now I'm gonna supposed to, to go to Deggendorf to play the Café Holle again, and well, Augsburg went well and stuff, was fun, although not that packed and we had a little discussion about money and stuff uh, afterwards. But and the radio show went great and stuff and some guy even came up to me because uh, he recognized my voice from formerly doing a radio show on Byte FM like seven years ago, which was great and I was pretty impressed and stuff. And uh, yeah, but uh, yesterday at the private event in Starnberg, which I was supposed to film all this stuff, um, was the most catastrophic DJ set in my career, like in, in like most more than 20 years of DJing. And uh, in the process, not only uh, I lost all the footage because someone hit my camera kind of and the vibration or stuff hit the wrong button because I had the camera in my, in my pocket of my trousers. And uh, so I was supposed to have or I planned to, to film all this stuff and I had like 40, 40 video snippets already filmed uh, of footage of the whole tour but uh, yeah that event yesterday um the the guy who delivered all the the pa and stuff hadn't got or said he hadn't hadn't got my stage plan and stuff so the pa went went astray and we couldn't use the main pa and had to improvise and stuff and uh, i played commercial i played really commercial not like 70s 80s commercial but uh like house vocal stuff and uh, it seemed like all the people who uh, who attended the party expected like 70 or like 80s and 90s hits and radio hits and stuff which totally didn't work out so uh, and I couldn't provide and stuff because vinyl and uh, then one guy well some guys came up to me requested stuff and I was like well no and asked the promoter what to do and stuff and uh, because well I, I cannot provide stuff I, I don't have with vinyl and uh, I I had a chat about the about this with the promoter before that uh, it was an experiment for them to do to have like commercial but underground stuff playing at the party which well there was a risk of, of things working not out and then this guy came up to me and uh, without well he was like requesting a turn of the music and I was like pissed and I was like no fuck off and uh, just to uh, tell him and I told him like don't touch me because um, it's better for your your health and I usually it works and stuff and I still have my headphones on and then this guy and another guy came up to me and um, like uh, they they threatened me and that guy like uh, grabbed my throat and stuff and tried to punch me and I was still like entangled and locked because of my headphones and stuff and uh, if I had gotten hold of this guy um, without entanglement in my headphones and without another guy like sneaking up to me from the back and holding my arms I guess this guy would have spent a night in the hospital for sure if not worse because well don't take any prisoners at war so uh, if, if you want to war me you get war and uh, yeah, this was like after 45 minutes of playing and uh, now um, I lost all my footage. I'm pretty pissed. I got paid up front, which is good. I don't know if I still will get money after after this, but uh, I hope when I go to the to the train station I don't see that guy because uh, he want to war me. He's he going to get war and uh, now I'm going to... I was supposed to meet that, that girl... Um, who booked me to the party and uh, which I won't obviously because uh, I told her well this I want a, I want a stage situation where uh, people are not able to to come up to me and um, yeah request stuff all the time because uh, as a DJ it gets on your nerves and stuff and then you don't do that and she was like briefed and this this all didn't happen and now I'm gonna go to Degendorf straight and uh, We'll see how that turns out. Really looking forward to that because this is going to be a good party, hopefully. And 
yeah, but things happen in the life of a DJ, in the life of a like YouTube using DJ and uh, losing footage and losing like three videos um, is bullshit actually. And I'm pretty, pretty much pissed. And uh, I hope to leave Starnberg as soon as possible, which will be in a few minutes because I'm supposed to check out of my Airbnb, which looks like this. Actually, well, the bed is like used for sure because I've been sleeping here. But um, yeah, Starnberg, never again, although the lake is pretty and I hoped to see the lake again. So um, we'll see, we'll speak on my way to, to Degendorf later. Well, arrived at the train station, half an hour to, to go until my train to Munich departs. And actually what I've seen yesterday uh, was like the Starnberger See in its, all its glory because of sunshine. Now you don't see that much because it's foggy and rains pulls down like shit but actually it's kind of pretty although I think I won't see this place ever again for reasons and um, the reason I told you. Okay stranded in Munich got a little time to spend here and I decided to, to visit my friend Gemma just, uh, just called her up and like Asked if she wanted to go out for a coffee, which she she, she wasn't able to, but uh, now I'm dropping by at her place, like which is nearby to Munich Central. So I'm waiting for my tube to arrive right now, and we'll spend like a few hours, like a good talk, hopefully, and uh, then I'm gonna go to Degendorf. Yay, another train back at Munich Central. I uh, had like a nice two and a half hours chat with my friend Gemma, who's like from the Netherlands and is living in Munich, and I passed by. Her place just uh, just two stops from the central station, and now I'm gonna go to Plattling, change trains, go to Degendorf for the DJ set for tonight. And I feel very very hungover because way too much gin tonic last night, and uh, therefore I need to get hydrated and stuff. And also I have to fill up my my stock of footage because I lost like 40 minutes throughout the weekend right now. So here we go, Munich Central. <laughs> Next stop. Is Plattling. So once again traveling Deutsche Bahn is a quite unwanted adventure. Um, on my way from Munich to Plattling, uh, our train was split in two sections. Section 2 broke so we had like to move all the passengers into the first section which caused a delay and I guess I will miss my connection train in Plattling once again so uh, might be an hour late in Deckendorf so uh, would have been a surprise if a travel weekend with Deutsche Bahn would run without any problems. So uh, this is the status right now. I might miss my connection train. And I'm pretty pissed. I'm pretty hungover, and uh, definitely I'm, I'm up for another gin tonic. So uh, to get me on on a proper level again and to, to play good set tonight. Well, finally made it. Arrived in Degendorf, and the last time I was here, like about a year ago, well, 13 months ago, it was like pretty and good weather and it was warm and sunny and now it's rainy and cold and sucks so as I figure out how to find a taxi I will go straight to the Cafe Holla for sure because uh, I'm not walking today so uh, we'll see might be there in a few minutes back again at Cafe Holla you know the score from last time and I'm pretty impressed because look who's here, the girl who impressed me last time, because she knew my old track, The Geist Gottes. <laughs> the Geist Gottes! Yay! Food, dinner, breakfast. And guys, look what I found, still here representing, left the sticker in the bathroom for like, uh, uh, for like 30 months ago. And it's still here, which I like, so I'm still present in Degendorf. Oh, it's good to be back. Nice relaxed space. Sweet lamb. And definitely my mood is like way better than uh, when I left Starnberg. For a reason. So uh, this night's gonna be good. A little bit of psychedelia and the DJ booth for tonight. You've seen that on Instagram, maybe. The laptop's not mine, but it's a playlist. 
and this is one for the gear geeks. I've only seen these turntables at the Cafe Holla, played there, played on them like last year as well. Vestax PDT 5000 with a nice pitch meter in a nice casing. So uh, if you have been DJing on those, let me know. I've never done that before. Apart from the Cafe Holla, which is a great place. Well, here we are again. You've seen this kitchen before. Um, my set at the Cafe Holla is obviously finished. I uh, had a good night out. A uh, lot of people enjoyed this, uh, enjoyed the show and uh, enjoyed the music. And uh, was definitely the best set of this weekend. And I went back to 1984, and the people were dancing to like proto house and disco and. House and even uh, one guy because I played the combat dub singer which I played on the radio, which you obviously never heard on this on this video because I lost all the footage. Uh, I had the combat dub sing singer with me and I played this as last track and uh, one guy like wanted to buy this immediately or like directly from the turntable from me. So one soul again and uh, I also played Taylor Swift. I did something bad which is uh, a great track sounds great on a, on a big PA and uh, even the underground people were impressed that Taylor Swift is like club music right now and uh, so this is a wrap maybe for uh, for this video maybe not we'll see maybe I'm gonna film some some footage uh, on the train tomorrow and uh, I'm out for tonight catching a few hours of sleep and I'm gonna talk to you in a bit <laughs>